Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Kev Tendo and we are back here again in the factory. Uh, I, I call it the factory, but we're we're trying to work our way to fighting the third scribe, um, which is the the cat, which is the stoat, which ended up oh oh it's like a beam. But how do I get up? I'm trying to go down is the thing. So how do I get around? Maybe I go through here. Oh, there we go. I can go. But yeah, so we're gonna go check these and see what new cards we can get and see what exactly is going on down here. So I don't get this whole bottom part. Oh, it's fishing scrap out of the, uh, out of the ocean or sea or whatever. All right, let's go see. What can we do here? I received a techno card pack. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I got more of those. Is this one also free? Yep, free. A steam bot. Two and two. That seems actually kind of nice. <laughs> when steam bot, whatever. All right. <laughs> it actually seems nice. Is there anything down here I can even interact with though? I don't think so. What about this? Oh, oh hey. Oh, he, this, is, this is one working here. He looks creepy. Oh, he's got like a little metal pipe too like like a like a ship captain like popeye uh uh <laughs> oh i mate <laughs> i know what you're here for you're asking me to take a dive but i can't accommodate you mate got special orders in it looking to dredge something special we can duel maybe even give you something if you win but i can't be taking a dive po3 will understand Hmm. Now what? Can't take my eyes off off work. I'll give you this one. <laughs> I won. <laughs> Are you serious? He can't. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> he couldn't even bother to play the game because he's too busy working. He's like, you know what? Here, you win. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that would be good for the uh, mage one. PO3 is going to reward me big for this one. What do you get? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my goodness. I can't take it. <laughs> All right, that's gotta be coming up through the top then. What is that? I'm also trying to see if at some point I can snag it. <laughs> Maybe that's the thing that um I'll need to sacrifice. It looks like the it looks like a 10. It looks like there's a 1 and a 0. All right, at this point it'll just be it'll travel its way around. I got time. All right, I'm pretty sure traders in here. Yeah, what I expected. You wish to trade? <laughs> the thick droid. <laughs> he, has, he has have three health. Hmm. A pack containing one rare. Uh, honestly. That sounds nice. Oh. Oh, when you buy one, something else comes out. All right, I had time. Is 
so let's do this. Let's get more of those uh, meat bots in there. Let's get that out of there. All right. Well, yeah, we'll try this. Because losing doesn't seem to really have like a, a a bad effect. Oh, there it is. I was just about to head into the other room. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, do you not take it? Are you not going to do anything with it? The bots haven't gotten better, but you battled all my workers and you actually won. Give me that deck again. Wow, you beat them with this? All right. Maybe there are some synergies I missed. D no! <laughs> I want to try and grab the sacrifice thing. See those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. What? 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 Wait, wait, what? So are my cards going to be given to him? And his cards going to be mine? This music <laughs> is not going to make it. Ooh, takes a free shot. Yeah. See how that works? Okay, your turn. I don't want to give you anything. <laughs> ah, he's got a second phase. I should be preparing for that. Wait, why was my thing all the way down? Alright, I'm gonna hold out on doing a bunch of crazy stuff because something bad's gonna happen. Oh no! Alright, I won the first part, at least. Oh, scanners online, which card to scan? Oh, you've only given me one choice. Ah! The stat line could be better. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> oh man, I gotta do something in quick. I don't really have anything to do. I don't like his boss battle. <laughs> I don't like his boss battle. <laughs> nice luck. Oh, I won. Good. <laughs> I was not paying attention. I was too focused on the bears. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I don't like his boss battle. <laughs> he takes my cards. I guess you won. Your ambition is to become the scribe of magics? That old hack, you ought to reconsider. You receive a techno card pack. Yeah, we missed the other thing. Practice wizard. Banshee, the curve hopper. <laughs> Alright. What else we got? Ooh, what is that? The gambolot? <laughs> the gamblobot. Uh, pay one energy to set the power of Gamblobot randomly between one and six. Huh. And what is this guy over here? The energy bot. When energy bot is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Aw, that's cool. That's what I was, I was wondering if they would have like a generator type thing. There's the bone hound. Hmm. 
lot of deck building going on here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. All right, we got one place left. Yes. <laughs> Is there anything extra in here? Oh wait, let's go back and check here. Same thing. I don't have an extra rat. Can I go buy one? Scribe of Beast was defeated. Yes, I know that. I'm aware. You wish to trade. When Ouroboros perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. I'll take a squirrel. It didn't have a price tag. So I wasn't sure. Um, okay, I'm not gonna buy anything else. What was I hoping for? I already forgot what I came in here for. So now I know that across the table from him, there's like the book thing and the wand and the paintbrush, the hammer and the paintbrush over there. So the exit was right there in front of me the whole time. Okay. So now the layout of the cabin makes a lot more sense. What was I hoping for? Oh yeah, the rat. Well, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. I like this music. <laughs> oh, do I gotta collect books for him? The note reads, Greetings, if you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me. Magnificus. To a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. So I wonder if one's the, uh, the, the, the green goop. Maybe this is his eye thing. Strange monocle, you put it on. Oh, look at me. <laughs> oh. The note reads, but in order to get, you must. Oh, 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 uh, skull, feather, and skull. Skull, feather, and skull. Ah, it's him. The pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. Ugh. <laughs> Do you see? Magnificus turned me into goo for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger, then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master as one of his prized cards. Nothing will stop me. Uh-oh. Does his play normally? <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, what do we got? Uh, the power of green mage is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their side of the table. So I wonder if I just put him there, will he just gun it down the first turn? <laughs> is that a thing? Yes! That's great. Alright, so sentry turrets might be better than I thought. <laughs> okay, so we got two here. We'll put you there. Okay, and uh... We'll do this. put you there. 
and we'll put you there. There we go. Oh, Crockle emerges from the deep. Oh, oh, that's him. I was like, what? <laughs> what are they talking about? Who's that? <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and attack and win. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to like the robot deck now. Because you can literally just buff and, and create things as well. Just tell the master I passed, he won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. You received a magical ward pack. Oh, force mage. If a creature would attack force mage, it does not. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> oh, I, I saw that effect before. It was in the book though. I don't think I ever saw it in action. Uh, Master Bleen. Activate. If you have a blue gem, sacrifice Master Bleen to draw three cards. Hmm. So far, it seems like um, the wizard deck is mainly for, like, drawing cards is one of the big things I've seen. Here, I can open the door for you. Okay, so is this the traitor? Yep. Uh, collected cards. Alright. And what do you got? Bleen's Mox can't be sacrificed. While Bleen's Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. Uh, also, while Bleen's Mox is on the board, it provides a green gem to its owner. So that's better than the other, the other ones. I'll take one of those. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Garanji's Mox can't be sacrificed. While Garanji's Mox, so these ones, oh, can't be sacrificed. Uh, it provides a green and a orange. I'll take those. And it has more health too. Oh, Master Garanji. If, uh, if Master Garanji's owner controls no Mox cards. Uh oh, that's not good. He has six health though. I got another one of those. So that, that makes it a bit more interesting. Now you can get Mox cards that have two gems it'll give you. Uh-oh. Uh, the dummy stares lifelessly back at you, then suddenly it springs into motion. Oh. <laughs> if a creature would attack, it does not. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, hmm. Dummy hinges, uh, hinges creak back into position. It returns to its lifeless stare. Oh, maybe it's for me to practice. Uh, oh, that's actually cool. I see a chest right here. Did I miss a chest anywhere else? Oh, the, the music's changing. If 
find a card pack among the heap of implements. There's Master Baleen. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> Okay, what's the thing here? I gotta find a puzzle thing. No, the, there's a glow thing I'm trying to read. Huh. Do I gotta actually work my way through that to get and see if there's something on the cards? Probably not. Oh! Oh, I can use this to gain foils! So I can just use this to farm foils if I wanted to. No, there's stuff there. I can't read it, though. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I just saw a chest. I just saw one. Right over here. Can I read anything else? No. All right, all right, all right. Say a goo covered chest. Oh, there's Master Granji I just got. What is this? The gourmet, the gourmage. <laughs> uh, pay two bones to increase the power and health of gourmage by one. Oh. So I could pair that with the bone guy, the spore digger. I wonder how I activate that ability. Unless it just does it at the beginning of every turn. It wouldn't be the same code, would it? By chance. Nope. Huh. So there's something. It's on there. There's goo. But why can't I see it? So skull, but you can't. So skull. Oh, oh, that's how. So skull hefty. Skull hefty and nothing else. As of now, at least. Skull hefty and feather. Okay, I was right.
Skull, Hefty, and Feather. Alright, I, I like the puzzles in this. They, they just feel creative. So, Skull, Hefty, and Feather. Oh. He looks like he didn't end very well. She didn't end very well. Just imagine you are an ice cube slowly melting in a hot pan. Is that her head? Her head's impaled on a spear. Yeah, there's a spear going out of the top of her hat. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of uh, the pain of being a head impaled on a spear is well. She just went and said it. <laughs> well. It is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. That will be the centerpiece of his deck. Is there a hole in the card? Yeah, <laughs> there's a hole in the card. <laughs> oh, let's see. Can I do anything with this? Ooh, Ruby Golem can't be sacrificed. When Ruby Golem perishes, a Ruby Mox is created in its in its place. Um. Put him there, I guess? And we'll just see what happens. Takes a free shot. Bam! Takes a free shot. Bam! <laughs> oh, I like the sentries! <laughs> oh, I like them. <laughs> okay, uh, what else we got? I'll do this. I'm like, I'm trying to hold out. Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain- oh, no, 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 I don't want that. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do they have their own cards? I never see them. Unless those are actually going into their deck. I don't know. Oh, they're, they're rearranged differently now. I don't have my sentry either. Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> um... Hmm. Not good. isn't good. Oh my goodness, there's nothing I can do. 
Oh no. Man, the, the beast deck is just really so, like, balanced. <laughs> At least standard one. I guess I haven't done it yet. Because you that's if you have the infinite squirrels, so I guess I'm wrong. Oh, man. There's, like, nothing for me to do. Yeah, I've lost this one too. Go ahead, take me out. Alright, looks like I might have to rebuild. The deck's not working. <laughs> Alright. Is this what that does? There we go. Oh yeah, overkill damage is a thing. <laughs> I forgot about that. So, I mean, it works, but that's only if I get a good, um, only if I get, like, a good run from the start. Take this pack. So maybe I won't go with him. You received a magical card pack. If Mage's Pupil's owner controls no Mox cards, yeah, yeah. That, that's the standard. I am curious. <laughs> Alright, but I mean, I am running into issues with this deck. Where if I don't get a good, if I get a fine lineup, it works fine. If I don't, then I, I'm kind of screwed. Well, yeah, we'll leave it. I was about to just try and build a, ma a magic one, but we could do always do that later. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to go that way. Uh, what's what's in here? Chest is empty, save for a single card. A rabbit. That's weird. You reach back in for more and notice the sigil where the card used to be. So it's a feather. The note reads, the top sigil is found by the greedy. Oh, so the feather is the, is the top one. The middle sigil is found by the pale. The bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing. Or by those who hear too easily. Hard of hearing of those who hear too easily is found by the pale. Oh, what's over here? Okay.
Oh. Uh, the bottom one is found by the pale. No, the hard of hearing. I, I don't get that one. At last, stimulation. My test has been sensory uh, deprivation, you see. To unlock the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now. Fear the Magnificus, I'm ready. We have to battle. That's a weird card. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. Now, I was wondering if all like the corpses in the in the picture taking room were. I, I was wondering if they were these people and they were all their soul or whatever was captured by the picture. And then he just tossed all their bodies into the into that storeroom. I don't know. That that's that's just one of the theories I have. So what we're we gonna do? If Gem Fiend's owner controls no Mox card, Gem Fiend perishes. Uh, yeah, I'll take him out. Boom. So he should come down and immediately die. Yep. There we go. See, it, it works. <laughs> Sometimes it may not, but it works. <laughs> we aren't done here, right? I wish to see the I wish to see the light again. To sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? Alright, nothing new. If I open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let me out, right? Oh, so he sealed all of them inside of those things. Note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have uh, catastrophic and unpredictable <laughs> results. I, I almost said catastrophic. <laughs> catastrophic. <laughs> the note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider... Dearest Grimoire, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Great transcendence. The note complete, I urge you to consider. Huh. What's over here? There's goo. Ah, you are here at last. How do my pupils fare? No matter, there are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. He, he did help me, though, in that vision. 
because I was thinking about this yesterday uh, after after the recording session was when I didn't know what to do and I beat um, Leshy, the, the beast, whatever. But I didn't know what to do because nothing changed. And I didn't have the battery stuff or whatever. It, it, I have like a vision where was the, it was this painting. I was like, oh, yeah, he's the guy who paints. And it was painted. He painted like the thing to help me. And by doing that, I was able to use his eye. You are the brush and the artist moves you into the terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition. That was that. Yeah, that was his eye. And I see that your ambition is to take my title. How sad. I will never. It will never happen. You see, even if you defeat me, but I am bound by certain rules. First, we must battle. Behold the brush of the scribe of magics. I thought it was a, a wand. <laughs> My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Oh, hey. Now for a bit of color. What? Hey, hey, what, hey, what, what, hey. Come on. I don't know what that is. When Century John is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. He literally made my stuff useless. I'm gonna redraw. No! <laughs> Leave him alone! <laughs> oh, so I feel like I need to have a magic deck in order to deal with him. Because these die. When Grizzly perishes, a ruby mox is created in its place. Oh, what is this? Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Man, you literally made it so I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I, I have to just go. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, man. Oh, why do you do this? I don't have any Mox cards. I should have put them there. That leaves so many of them useless. Hey, what's up? Oh, you're just dancing. <laughs> He's just dancing. <laughs> all right, all right. Ah, oh, there's nothing I can do, man. Cause that thing has nine health. I can't stop it either. I can put him down. And he'll attack that and die. Number of green gems. Mm. I don't have a, I can't win. I, I can't win. There's nothing I can do. 
Yeah, I've lost. Uh, you will never become the scribe of magic, so I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Alright, paint me some good sigils at least. Those sigils so colorless. Alright, just give me something good. Maybe I should just pick a bunch of like quick, easily, easy summonable things. I just had an idea. What if I just go make a magic deck and then just get the other things, the fill it with the other things? I don't know. What, what is this? Uh, a rabbit is created in your hand. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to hang on to that, I guess. Yes, that was a, that's what exactly what I was hoping for. There we go. think about this. Where am I going to place the bear? I got to I have to place the bear in the center. I have to place him here to get this down and out of here. I I have to do it. I have to get rid of this because if that's gone then he can't come down. Also, he can't come down next turn anyways. Okay. So I guess I'll hang on to him. It's, it's at least working. So I, I can at least pull out a victory. This will give me another rabbit. I'm <laughs> just getting a bunch of spikes.
All right, all right, we won, we won. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Oh wait, no, there's two phases. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> I must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. No, it's, no, you don't. You're, you're good. You're actually, you're actually good. But you don't need to do that. <laughs> Oh no. I I do six damage, so I actually win. Either way. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Very well. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> Very well. We have battled. And now I may speak. You see, my eye aches because it remembers. It was excised. By none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. Yeah, yeah. Ex I wonder what excised. Excised. I, don't, I wonder what that means. Unless he means the other one was taken out, which was in the box. And a beast he is. Arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become Hegemon. Hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must especially beware of EO3 or whatever. Master Orlu, airborne. Also, when Master Orlu deals damage directly, draw a card for each damage dealt. What? <laughs> that sounds awesome. Frankenstein. All right, I might try the ma I might try the magic one. Cards are added to your collection. Orlu's Mox. While Orlu's Mox is on board, provides orange. Also, while Orlu's Mox is on board, provides blue gem to its owner. Uh, there's the thick droid. <laughs> So, you have to also have to be aware of... Yeah, I saw that. I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a comment. So he's saying Leshy's bad, but Leshy's not the worst. And it seems kind of like... Um... PO3 is worse. And there's still whatever I can't see here. Whatever that is. Because there's there's still stuff that leads over here. Alright, let's let's try it. Let, let's try making a, a magic deck. Oh, oh hey, whoa, hey, on the options. The options has a thing. Oh, that's what the thing, I just guessed on that. Oh, that's what, that's what the thing meant on that note. If we go back out here. Now that makes sense. So, uh, the middle sigil is found by the pale. I don't know, it's I guess just by that path. And this one, the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing or by those who hear too easily. That's the sound settings. That's really cool how they did that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna test out the, the deck. Because we can do that. Also, we can apparently just keep farming this, I think. Yeah, we can just keep farming this if we needed to get more, uh, cards. Okay, what do we got? Um... Or lose whatever. I'll put this here.
Hmm. I, I guess I need more greens. <laughs> that's, that's one issue I'm running into already. Kind of need more greens. Alright, I mean, I, I maybe it'll work in like a normal battle. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's head on out. Man, I want to get like another rat thing so I can fuse more cards. Hmm. Maybe. We'll head back here and buy a pack of cards and hope we get another, uh, rat thing. Squirrel? No. Pat rack. No. Rat pack. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, hope we get another one of those things we can get that done and out of the way and start fusing some other cards. Nope. All right, another one. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, hey, it's the toad. Oh, there we go. The field mice. That's what I was looking for. All right. Field mice was it. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name. Okay, okay. So what he's saying is what he did wasn't the worst. Okay, I got it. I got it. Two of the same? Yes, I do have. All right, closing them. Would you like to see? Yes, yes, I would. Ooh, oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, a copy of it is created in your hand. Also, when Spore Mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. <laughs> uh, it literally just takes a, its effect and doubles it. It doesn't like double its, um, it doesn't increase its whatever. <gasps> the centuries, yes! Yes, yes! We require for our experiments. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Look away. I like the century. We must not speak of that. <laughs> So now it'll it'll hit twice the sentry spore. So it'll hit twice now. Do I have two of those? What are they? Two blue mages. Might as well. I don't see anything wrong with not fusing them. The cost doesn't go up for the. Get the code, yes, but we best not speak more of it. I thought I was gonna say like the king. Uh, when when blue spore mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of mox cards on your side of the board. So you can draw up to six cards in a single turn. If you <gasps> you found a strange flickering key, its use cannot yet be understood. And, and who is that again? I don't have two of that. Okay, well I got a key now. This way. I had to think about it for a while. I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> uh, I could buy one for two. Oh, now it's gone. All right. So let's head back to the totems in the center. We just got a key. We never did figure out what was that thing in the bottom here. Because it, it went over here and dropped. And it drops down there. That thing that he had collected. 
it went down there. But he didn't like pay it any attention. Uh, let's go see if he fished it back up or something. Oh yeah, what if that's it? What what if he just fished it back up? Hey bud, you fish anything? I gotta get in there with you. Here we go. You fish anything back up? So something you're after? I gave you a pack. Oh, I guess not. Huh. So if it went back, it dropped, and I assume it dropped into the lake. Or into the water. Maybe the, the fisherman, the, ang the angler or something, will have found something about it. Because again, it, it went down this line. After it went here, it didn't get like consumed. The, like, the glitchy one from the last one. It went down here and it went over there, and so it had to have fallen off. But this is kind of on like an island, so which which would have meant it would have fell off. And there's a reason why he's here at the docks now. Oh, he's up there too, I guess. Uh, ooh, uh. Scrabble only, in case bad happened. Backup plan, lest you say. I catch old fish last time. Good fish beat Dredger, beat Goo, beat Casey. Good fish. Wants to use challengers like you as his playthings. To make it more perverse, he thinks you'll actually enjoy it. Oh yeah. Try to use a mix of different types of cards in your deck to fully utilize your bones, blood, and energy. Wolf. That bot is planning something, all right. It's got the dredger working overtime. Oh, many cards from the from other temples are better sacrificed, better sacrifice fodder than squirrels. For example, bone heaps can be sacrificed early but have utility in the late game. Remora wants to bring it all down, but more as a mercy, I think. She's probably right. There's some pretty nasty data on this disc. A deck focused on magical cards can be very powerful. Try picking two of your best gem colors instead of going for all three. Cards with activated abilities are some of the most powerful. Balance your resources accordingly. What, you want to know more about Magnificus? Mysterious guy, we all have our theories, of course. Some say he actually wants. No, it's too terrible to say. Wolf. Hmm. So he's thinking, or she's thinking that Grimora wants to take everything down as some sort of mercy. Lest she is too preoccupied with uh, gathering challengers to use as his playthings. PO3 is up to something, and uh, Magnificus was sending a letter to whatever Grimora about his concerns about how what he wants is worse than what Leshy has done. Hmm. So I'll talk to you again. And then uh, Magnificus was also just erased because he was about to say something. All right, I guess the only place for us to go now would be in here. It is time, Challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Oh, the box does count as a thing. <laughs> It makes you think that you can't go back because when you because the box actually counts. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know. <laughs> I tried talking to him, but they don't talk. Well, I didn't talk to him, but I, I want to know, like, is replacing them a good thing or a bad thing? 
Like, if I replaced him, could that end whatever he's trying to do? Or if I whatever did that, that would release him. Ooh. I already know I have lost. I have foreseen it. My eye aches once again. Why must my pathetic slime mage always fail? But would I be so meticulous in my preparedness? But would I be, yeah, if I myself had tasted power? Alas, I may never know. Show yourself, fiendish machine. Alas, ill fates await us all. Tedious old fool, I don't owe you anything. Now, let's play. You're supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like a powerful, powered up version for the finale. This is going to be different. Is that the moon? So, I was supposed to fight the scribe, but he kicked his way in. Hmm. You just played a card with an activated ability. Alas, I shall explain to you its workings. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button, but it will only work if you can pay the cost. Master Baleen sacrifices itself for three cards. That's how I do it. I'll just leave this here. That's the thing. That's the thing. I've got to give it to that dredger. Not as useless as I thought. <laughs> I like that face. <laughs> hmm. Ninety-eight. That's the ticket. Error corrupted. So you wanted me to hit that. I'm so glad I don't have like speakers playing this. 